hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl b and for those of you who already know me b is for business <laughs> no but for all my old subscribers that know i used to do a lot of natural hair tutorials and story times and i'm gonna do just fun content um i've been about my business lately so i think it'll be valuable and important to share what I've learned, what I haven't learned, things that I've been going through in my business and how I've been collecting my coins. Let's get straight to the bag. So this video will be about how I grew my followers on Instagram from 3,000 followers to 12,000 followers in a few months organically. Okay, I do own uh, all natural vegan cosmetics line, Belle Bouche Cosmetics. Um, we, um, we, I sell mainly lip gloss, um, amongst other things, but mainly lip gloss, um, and obviously we will be developing more in the future, God willing. So, um, a little background story. I've had my business for about two years now, um, until about October of last, of 2019, I had around roughly, roughly around 3,000 and some change followers. Um, and I was really f trying to figure out ways how to boost my engagement, how to get more likes because I wasn't getting any likes. Like literally, obviously I had amazing product, but that doesn't really matter on Instagram in the beginning at least um, because, you know, social proof is a real thing. So um, I didn't really have, I was looking for more engagement. I was looking for more followers. Um, and I was looking for more likes, especially because the most likes I was probably getting was like maybe 50, maybe 150. The first few talking points that I'm going to be discussing today is originality, content, hashtags, engagement. And the last and most important thing is Instagram's algorithm. So first things first, let's get into originality. Of course, I'm going to be using my you know my personal example so explain it because i can't explain something i haven't been through in late october when was halloween halloween was okay so in the middle of october i had an idea to um do something new for halloween and something came to me because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sweet tooth i have a sweet tooth something came to me to do a new collection of lip gloss and it happened to be a Jolly Rancher candy collection. So what that was, was <laughs> Jolly Rancher flavored lip gloss, the five original Jolly Rancher flavors, and these little three ml to five ml twist pens. So at first I was like, oh, this is so cute. This is such a nice idea. Everybody loves Jolly Ranchers. I love Jolly Ranchers. So making, being able to make this into a lip gloss, that would be amazing. Like who wouldn't love this? So, um, obviously I didn't know how big of an impact it would have or how big it would be on my company. And that ended up, um, really, really, really making things happen for my business. I have got a, a lot, a lot of engagement and it really got me a lot of customers. It got me a lot of followers and it got me just a lot. I shot from like 3000 to like maybe seven. So like yes like seven i was gaining up to like 50 followers a day just from that idea i was taking pictures with like the lip gloss with the actual jolly ranchers you know i was just keeping things you know in the same aesthetic like keeping the vibe going okay originality is super important it's not wrong to copycat if you're copying the right cat and putting your own twist on it obviously if you copy it idea for idea word for word name for name style for style obviously that's copycatting like <laughs> obviously but originality is super important people want to see things they've never seen before even if and as i understand as a business owner or as a content creator be doing and doing new things is scary it will be scary but you have to take that leap of faith you have to be you know, you have to be ready to like get out your comfort zone where the money is. Be original. My next key point is content. 
content is super 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 important could be videos or pictures obviously when designing and theming an instagram especially if it's business oriented it's important that you have a specific theme or like an aesthetic like something that when customers or new followers just people maybe they just they see you on the explore page they want to know but like not even opening one picture yet they want to see by like your instagram what kind of business you are so my business is i am very colorful i love all the colors in the rainbow so i try to incorporate that in my entire feed now um some people do themes like they have like a specific picture going down the middle or like specific pictures going down the 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 um the ends they mix it up they do like doop doop like you know like it has a pattern i don't really feel like that that is i don't think it's necessary but if it's what works for you go ahead and do that just try not to add clashing photos don't add too many like stars and just a lot of different things all over the place and people will like get confused and like they will scroll away from your page forever keep it clean simple pretty or whatever matches your business so another thing that's also super 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 important is h is quality quality without a doubt is one of the most important things and it could really play a huge 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 role on the seriousness and the the the, the seriousness of your business and the, the the way people communicate with your business if you don't look like a professional company if you if your pictures are not so how can i say if they aren't so nice looking, you know, like try to use a good phone, maybe an iPhone. Um, I know in certain light, taking things in bright light outside in nature is very, like a lot of people like to see that more than like in a, in a little box in a room and it's not, the lighting is not so good. So, you know, a lot of things, but definitely HD quality. I suggest iPhones, no Android. I'm sorry. Try to be, you know, visually aesthetic. Don't just take a picture and post it because you need something to post. Take the time to actually wake up early, go outside, go in the sunlight, take natural photos in natural light, and you'll be surprised on how well they do. Another thing is a lot of people when they're running a business, they forget that you can be yourself. You can be relatable. You don't have to be all uptight and you can laugh you can kiki with your customers you can kiki with your followers it's fine um i post memes on my page just relatable things about lip gloss what we go through like as girls have some fun it's obviously there's certain things that you shouldn't do when you're being professional like on my business page i do not curse not a a word not a s word i do not curse i keep everything respectful that i don't want my business to be that kind of business i see myself in stores like target walmart you know sephora i want to be there so i need to start there now another thing that is so important in posting content and getting more engagement in your business and getting more followers getting more getting noticed is hash tags hashtags are super 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 important for years on instagram hashtags have been deemed like weird or like corny or like not aesthetically pleasing it looks a little dorky maybe some people might say but girl hashtags are there for a reason one instagram is not only a major major platform if not the most the number one platform for getting a point across getting money across getting an idea across it's it's popular like they know what they're doing they they know how to make money and hashtags are not there for no reason people actually follow these hashtags there's new features getting introduced to instagram every day and one of them is that you can now follow hashtags so hashtags there are literally millions and millions some billions some hashtags get billions of follows and mentions and just tag hashtags are real your friends might not like it the people that you know directly in your circle that are directly in your demographic might not be looking at that but people around the world and that's what we're thinking about when you're thinking about expanding when you're thinking about 
building something, building a brand, building a name for yourself, you have to think outside of your personal life environmental bubble. So you have to think big. Think about the people in London. Think about the people in Australia. Think about the people in Japan. Like those people are watching and they're buying. Okay. Hashtags, hashtags, hashtags. So the next thing is engagement. Engagement is super, super important. Obviously in the beginning, you're not, you might not have thousands of followers and that's fine, but you can have a hundred followers and talk to, and they engage in your stuff. They comment, make sure you're commenting back, have a conversation, like be nice, like treat them like regular people. And even if you can't, like if you're growing a bit faster than others, even if you can't respond to every comment, cause sometimes I find myself like seeing comments from like months ago and I'm like, I never saw this. But like, still take the time to like, try to look through them, like the person's comment if you can't comment to everyone. Like, tell people like, if they say, oh my God, I love your business, be like, I love you too. Like, thank you for paying my bills. <laughs> like, that's okay, you can be relatable, you can be funny. Wendy's is um, a great example for social marketing and like, being relatable and like, getting people to love them because they do not hold back. Like, they're relatable, they're humorous. They don't act like, oh, we're just, we sell burgers and fries and come eat them. Like, they actually take the time to, like, be funny, get get noticed, like, to trend. Be yourself. Like, it's you're still human at the end of the day. It's not a robot. Ooh, and another thing about engagement is action phrases in your captions. Those things work. So talk to your people. Get them to talk to you back. Start a conversation. Be real. People look forward to that and they will follow you. They will follow your posts. They will start follow your stories. So use them. Instagram knows what they're doing. Our last and final point before we can get straight to the bat is knowing that Instagram's algorithm is very, very important and very real. Always changing. So Instagram's algorithm is constantly changing. As of right now, as of 2020, this is what instagram is about there are six key factors that influences instagram's algorithm interest relationship timelessness frequency following usage the first one is interest interest is obviously what people are interested in instagram will show people what they want to see most of a lot of people want to see food food is something that will always be constantly getting pushed out into that specific person's feed or shopping makeup beauty nature diy so you definitely have to know your demographic be content specific because people are being shown what they're interested in or what instagram thinks they're interested in so the second one is relationship following and interest they kind of go hand in hand because usually if you're interested in something you follow it which is whether it's a hashtag or a page instagram will show you posts and profiles like the ones that you follow or that your followers follow if that makes sense timelessness this basically means that picking a perfect day and time for posting your posts are extremely important if you have a business page you go through your analytics there is a section that literally tells you like when you get the most views engagement posts likes if you, when when meaning day and time how much of that engagement and likes are coming in and which time for you, based on your profile, based on your past data, your specific followers might be active at 9 p.m. versus 6 p.m. So it's better for you to post at 9 rather than 6. So that pays a huge part if you pay attention to that, if you take that into accountability. Another thing is frequency, how consistent you are with your posts. Obviously, if you want to be a successful business or a successful content creator, people have to see your face. I'm still here. I'm still making moves. I'm still doing what I gotta do. I'm still posting. Period. Be consistent. If you're not consistent, it'll take you way longer than the next jail. Okay? Following. Who are you following as a business or as a person in general? And who are they following? I'm detoxing my feed. I don't want to see this. Who's following you and who they're following also plays a toll. So remember that it is good to detox your page and to see what you want for yourself on your page. Cut the nonsense because it'll show you more nonsense. Six is usage. This goes into like another part of consistency. If you use Instagram once a week versus somebody that posts every day of that week, obviously your posts will be 
lost in translation. It might get a, enough engagement that you're satisfied, but it might not be as much as you could have gotten if you would posted more. And the person that posted more that week might have a lower following, lower like count, lower engagement, but just because they used the app more, Instagram respected that. So those are the key factors that influences Instagram's algorithm. A few tips that I have. First tip is comment, likes, shares, um, repost, play a huge part on like your profile or picture getting noticed more. So the more people that comment, obviously, will it be shown to more people. The more people that like, it'll be shown to more people. Those things are really important, so pay attention to those. You could get 100 likes and get like 500 shares. Another tip is that fake interactions do not count. So all those bots, all those spam pages, they do not count. And Instagram can tell when a profile is not real, when a profile is... A bot, basically. Another thing to remember is that all account types are in, are equal. So Instagram has um, verified that no account type is more important than the next. Another thing to remember and to try to utilize at all times is that Instagram stories and their IGTV. Use them. You can start a conversation if you use a, even a sticker on your story from New York. I'm from New York. I'm a New York girl. Other people that are following that sticker location, because they do, they don't also they will also be able to view your story and you might find engagement from a bunch of different places around the world so don't be afraid to use instagram stickers to play around with those functions to to post something on igtv especially if you're a content creator post clips me and my boyfriend have a couples channel like i make a 30 second 30 to a minute clips on what the video of the day was and they're funny they get a lot of engagement so utilize those things that you can do instagram knows what works so if you have the option to use it if you're creating content if you have a business don't waste your content be consistent and take that leap of faith like what is the worst that can happen what is the worst that can happen that concludes the end of this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed on learning on how i gained 12,000 followers in a few months you guys can definitely use these tips be sure to like comment subscribe to my channel leave any questions or anything in the comments down below and I'd love to get back to you and compare notes or share what works for you because everybody's different every business is different every personality is different so let me know how you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one period